It's uh, Tuesday, it's vaguely noonish. Let's do another one of these videos. I spent a fair amount of time stuffing about with my guitar, and uh, I can hear when what is called the turnaround is coming to go to the next part, right? Um, and this got me thinking uh, about something to do for this, this week's video. Everybody should learn to play a chordal instrument, um, whether it's a guitar or a piano. Um, I think it's a little bit uh, restricting to say that everybody needs to learn to play the piano, which seems to be the kind of prevailing wisdom in the higher education world. Um, I think the, the idea of being able to hear chord progressions as you're playing is the handiest thing about learning a chordal instrument. All songs, most songs, most songs are made up of three chords. The basic idea being uh, one, four, and five. Right? Right? A chord is uh, at least three notes played together at the same time. When you put chords together, uh, generally it's in thirds based on the notes of this scale that, that are, uh, the word is diatonic. Um, notes are in a scale are the diatonic notes for that key or scale, right? Um, so your the the basic idea is the first, third, um, and fifth note of the scale makes up the one chord, what is known as the one chord because it is, the, is based on the root or the first note in the scale. Uh, the four chord is the fourth, sixth, and then the root again up the top. Um, it's kind of every other note of the scale, right? And then the five, again, is five, seven, and two. The, when you stack up the chord, the notes, the one chord is major, four chord is major, five chord is dominant, uh, and if you go root, thir third, fifth, throw on the next note up, you get the seventh, which is very common. But all the theory aside, there are a million videos. I'll put something, I'll, I'll find a video where someone's explaining this a lot better than I can in my blah, 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 disorganized and disjuntled, disjuntled way. But uh, all the theory aside, if you can hear where the chords are going, you can tell when the song is going to change to the next section. There are things that happen quite often that let you know when the next section of the song is coming. You don't necessarily need to know exactly how many bars are in the song. If you know the chords to the song, then you can you can kind of hang your ear on it, so to speak, and just follow it along. What I was playing in the beginning there is actually the chord progression to the full house theme. Uh, my sisters, I should say, are big fans of the show and they were talking about it the other day and it was just, it just got in my head. Right, so that Song, the, the verse, that part, it goes back and forth between the one, which in this key is in, in this case is an E major chord, and the four, which is an A major chord, right? So uh, there's the E, right? There's the A. And then right before the chorus, it sits on the four. And then it goes to the five, right? And you can hear that five, it really tells you when, that four to five tells you that something is about to change. The, the tune plays, plays through. But it, it plays through this whole thing. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. that five chord again tells you that something is about to change again that's just one kind of example that I could that I thought of doing just to thought it'd be fun you know well shout out to my sisters in Canada <laughs> and their random TV shows that they loved in the 90s if you can break a song into the into its basic building blocks you can then stack those basic building blocks together into chunks and then those chunks into bigger chunks and bigger chunks and bigger chunks 
and eventually with your with your music you can think in terms of um, sections as opposed to individual bars or individual notes right it's like when you're talking you don't think of the letters that go into the words you know if you want to say hello you don't think h e l l o hello right you think hello you think in words and then you know you think in sentences instead of just words and then you think in concepts that would be organized in groups of sentences and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you get more fluent in a language. Uh, music works the same way, right? So if you know the notes, you can build the chords, and if you can build the chords, you can string the chords together, and then you can think in terms of sections. You can think it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, chorus, 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 fade out, go home, get paid. <laughs> in theory. This, this idea of learning the chord progression as a way to learn the song um, works in all music, you know what I mean? It can be just basic, very simple, like... <laughs> right? Like basic 1-4-5 stuff, or it could be even up into the, the jazz stuff, the... You know, like, if you know how the song goes and you know how the progression works, then, like I said, you don't have to think in individual um, bars or segments. You can think in grander schemes. And it just makes things that much easier if you can think in arrangements as opposed to patterns. Like, if, you don't, if, you don't, if you're not thinking of the groove, you're thinking of the overall um, verse, it will make you a much kind of more rounded player. A better, more rounded? Better rounded? It'll just make you sound better. I don't know. I don't have to get fancy about it. So, uh, like always, um, if you like what I'm doing, you know, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I'll put some links down below to some uh, music theory resources if you want to get right into the rabbit hole of how the chords and stuff work. Um, I'm sure there'll be a link popping up here at some point in this video telling you all about uh, we should, with a link to a video that explains it much better than I do with my weird like blah, 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 blah. My, my lack of um, fluency <laughs> in the English language so uh, yeah like always share, like, and subscribe uh, tell your mailman all that fun stuff and uh, I guess I'll see you next Tuesday <laughs>